we are talking about the first chapter of the latest version of HCIA Cloud Computing. And this chapter is about a brief introduction to cloud computing. And we all know that cloud computing has been very popular in recent years, and it has become the technical foundation of other fields, such as big data, artificial intelligence, and so on. So, however, what exactly the cloud, cloud computing is, and uh, I believe when we finish this chapter, we will know it. Okay, there are four goals in this chapter. The first goal is to describe what cloud computing is. And the second goal is to describe the history of cloud computing. And the third goal is to list a few use cases of cloud computing. The last one is to describe the characteristics of cloud computing. All the contents in this chapter are divided into five sections. Let's look at the first section. Cloud computing is already here. And in this section, we will know what can cloud computing do. You can see this slide shows the interface of Huawei cloud computing platform. There are several types of technical services that Huawei cloud can provide, such as compute, storage, network, and so on. Each major class is divided into many subcategories. For example, compute include elastic cloud server, bare mental service, auto scaling, and etc. Similarly, storage and the network also have their own subcategories. So, what can cloud computing do? Here are some examples. The first is backup features provided by Huawei phones. The second is Google Translator and the third is Reader application. The common feature of the three applications is that the data no longer needs to be stored on your own mobile phone. They are stored in the remote data center. The remote data center is generally considered as cloud. Maybe there are some important data are still stored in your own mobile phone, but most data will have a backup in the cloud. Now, we often take photos and record a video using our own mobile phone, and the mobile phone can automatically save the video and photos. It can automatically transfer the information or contacts, messages, and applications to the cloud. When you change a new phone, the information can be downloaded to your new phone from the cloud. When we use the reader application, actually, all the books are in the cloud, and we can read them online whenever we want to read. If your phone is not connected to the internet, you can't open it. So far, I believe that you have a general understanding of cloud computing. Cloud computing has developed very rapidly in recent years and has become the basis of other fields. In last section, we have talked about what cloud computing can do. And in this section, we will talk about the five advantages of cloud computing and what exactly the five advantages are. Let's get a quick start. There are five advantages of cloud computing. And the first one is on-demand self-service. It means that customers can purchase their different types of server according to their own needs. And the premise is that you need to know what you exactly need. In another word, if you have no idea about the type of CPU you need, maybe you can use cloud computing. Just like if you want to buy a t-shirt, you have to know your size, right? When you really use cloud computing, if you don't know what you need, even you do not understand the cloud computing, you need to communicate with the cloud computing customer service to buy proper IT services. This is the nature of on-demand self-service. Next, let's take a look at the second feature, broad network access. 
The three applications in the previous example are all dependent on the network can be used normally. Although, some applications can be used without network. If you never connect to the network, data will only be saved in local. It is not a complete cloud computing services. In Marvel's film Iron Man, sometimes Iron Man uses his own things such as suitcase or watch to summon his armor. But in more cases, Iron Man summons his armor through the network. The network can be Wi-Fi or 4G. As long as we are connected to the Internet, we can use our own cloud computing services. The third advantage of cloud computing is resource pooling. In the case of Iron Man in Avengers 2, when he battled with Hulk, some parts of his armor are broken. He summons the parts of steel armor to replace broken ones. His steel armor is equivalent to a resource pool. Whenever a part is broken, he can replace the part through his resource pool. There are many types of resource pools in cloud computing, such as computing resource pool, network resource pool, storage resource pools, and the largest advantage of resource pools is that it can make a difference in underlying hardware. For example, I presented a cloud computing resource pool that contains CPU and memory. However, I don't know what exactly which CPU I will use. The resource pool is also a very important feature that provides a basis for the next two features. Rapid elasticity and the mirrored service. Okay, let's see the rapid elasticity first. As long as talking about this feature, I will think of the idol of my childhood, Monkey King. Monkey King's weapon Golden Hoof can be optionally big or small. When the weapon first appeared, it was an iron pillar. Later, Monkey King could narrow it down and put it into his ear. The rapid elasticity in cloud computing is the biggest advantage for users. They can configure the specifications of cloud computing service according to their own needs. For example, in the early stage of a company, they do not know traffic scale of the website, so they can establish a standard version of the website to meet the traffic of a small number of people. As the company grows, the number of visitors will increase at that time, they can expand their site's traffic to protect the needs. Another example of rapid elasticity is that there is a news explosion in Twitter. That will lead a surge in traffic, right? And if the administrator of Twitter does not expand the internet traffic capacity of server, it will cause the server to crash. In this case, the expansion of server benefit from rapid elasticity of cloud computing. The reason for using cloud computing is because of the strong scalability of cloud computing, which can be expanded and reduced whenever you want. The last advantage of cloud computing is the measured service. Most of the services in cloud computing need to be built, but some are free. Measurement is unit unification due to a lot of technology are used, and the measurement is accurate and reliable. In other words, the service in cloud computing are measurable. Some are based on time, some are based on resource quota, and some are based on traffic measurement. The service can accurately measure the resource configuration and it will help customer to control and optimize his business. For the customers, they can clearly see the usage of the service they purchase, and they also can purchase the corresponding number of services according to their needs. Okay, all above are the five advantages of cloud computing. All about are the five advantages of cloud computing. Have you understood all the five advantages clearly? If not, 
I suggest that you have to spend much time on it. And in the next section, we will talk about the official definition of cloud computing. See you!